Hey everybody, I'm here at the Cyclery Bike Shop in La Mirada, California. I'm joined by Steve Herrera, who in addition to owning the shop, has literally done thousands of bike fits. In this video, we're gonna be optimizing my bike fit so that hopefully I can ride further put down more power and ride in greater comfort. It's actually not your typical bike fit. Steve uses what's called a dynamic bike fit, which allows him to make micro adjustments in real time while the rider is pedaling under a load. But more on that in just a minute. All right, Steve, thanks again for the invite uh, to come do this video. My pleasure. Lifelong cyclist, longtime bike racer, engineer, wrench guy, numbers guy, math guy. Opened this bike shop in 2010 and I wanted to be a family bike shop. I wanted to be able to provide a professional cyclist with the very highest level of, of service and support, but at the same time, I wanted to be able to provide that child his very first push bike, and mom and dad and brother and cover everything in between. Coming into the shop, this is where the business happens, my messy office. <laughs> so we have four fully fledged workstations. Roman working on this station, Andy working on this station. Nice to see you. Mark also works here, and then Bob working on that station. Over here this way is our Guru Fit Bike, our fitting station. We have a full array of bars and saddles that we can test with, TT stuff, and then our, our software that, that kind of drives the whole system. So how is this different from like your traditional bike So fit? in a traditional fit system, a fitter will take you, he'll put you on your bike, he'll put your bike on a trainer or some type of device where you can actually pedal a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's gonna use a iPad or a laptop or even a phone to freeze your motion, motion capture we call it. Mm -hmm. Then he'll use a variety of softwares that's available to plot the angles of where everything is. He wants to see the angle from your hips to your shoulders to your hands. He wants to see the angle of your foot at full extension. He wants to see the disposition of your saddle when your foot's at three o'clock. Every fitter will have his little pet angles and it may work perfectly for you. Mm -hmm. This is a completely different type of equipment. Okay. Instead of telling you where you should be, in the guru system, once we put you under load, you can see in a various position that we may move you to if that resistance feels easier or more difficult. And I want to know, where does Nolan make power comfortably? Further back or further forward? The arbitrary method of plumb line over spindle that dictates that forward to aft based on your femur length may hold true, but you may be a little outside of that one way or the other. So I want to know where it's most comfortable and most efficient for you. Once we get all that done and we've decided, hey, this is the position Nolan likes, then I'm going to program your bike that I've measured. The machine knows where it's at. I know where you're at here. Got it. I can program that in and then we toggle back and forth and you can say, this is what he has found. Right. This is where I was. This bike allows us to make uh, an immense amount of changes very quickly right. in real time while you pedal. Yeah which in a traditional sense I can't do. I was going to say, like, if you want to make one setting, you, the rider has to bike. get off the bike. Let me adjust it, yeah. get back on. Now, did you remember that? Exactly, yeah. And, and the, the smaller that change, the quicker your muscle memory purges it, yeah, right? Yeah. But here, I can make the smallest micro adjustment, or I can move you 10 millimeters. But all while you're still pedaling. All while you're still pedaling. Mm. So you never have to worry about muscle memory, get on, get off, get on, get off. I think the traditional fit is very time consuming yeah. because the guy's trying to give you what you want and, and he wants to explore every option for you. Mm -hmm. um, here I can explore all those options and more in a much more efficient uh, time frame. Right. Cool. So what's what's the first step? What so am I doing first? The first step is we're going to do a body scan. It's going to take a quick look at a general position of your height, your inseam. It's going to throw the, the bike into a position that we can start at. I'm going to get you on the bike have you pedal under some load, warm you up. I'm gonna just kind of roughly make sure that you're not uncomfortable. And once we got you warmed up a little, then we're gonna take your soup to nuts through. I'm gonna set you at 71 degrees. We're gonna adjust your seat height, bar reach and bar height. Then we're gonna save that, move you to 72, move you to 73, move you to 74. So I got on the bike, pushing 82 RPM at 100 watts and just warming up. Steve said the process will take about 45 minutes. It's pretty cool, like you feel the bike moving underneath you. Right now, reach feels long, saddle feels a little low but I think I'm just warming up right now. So if Steve comes back, we'll start dialing in the fit. So compared to where you are, I'm gonna be moving you in increments of 10 millimeters. Okay. And compared to where you are with 10 millimeters a little higher, does this, is this better or worse? Ooh, it's like that uh, when you go to the eye doctor, they do the yep. A or B, A or B. Yep. This feels a little better, although maybe slightly high. Okay, so if this feels better than this, does this feel better than this? Uh, first one's better. Okay, so we got pretty close right off the bat. Okay. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get you out in the hood. How does the length feel? For me, um, it feels a little long, but... Feels a little long, so if I went out a little more like this, I'd be going in the wrong direction? Yeah, yeah. Then what if we just did a half notch in? That I'm, yeah, that I'm good with, yeah. And now are we still using the, the drops? Yeah, yeah, the drops feel pretty good. Is there anything about this position you would like to try or change? I want to say that the seat feels a touch high now. Okay, so let's bring it down a half a notch. Yeah, that feels good. Now, did that go straight down or as like in, into the seat tube? The way that the system works is it, it's going vertically. Okay, but so it changed it, the, the seat tube angle. So it does, Okay. which is why I'm always coming back to this window and readjusting, right? Because I want to oh. keep this thing super close to 71 degrees. Okay. Now what happens is that as I tell this system here, move me forward one degree. Okay. What you're going to see is you're going to see your bars go forward, but your seat's coming with it. They're both going to come forward at a rate that allows that relative distance uh -huh. to stay the same. Oh, I got you. Just kind of rotating about the bottom rack. Right, so that so that the relative distance stays the same. Okay. So that will drop the stack a little bit? Yes. Okay. Oh, man, that's complicated. Oh, I, it felt like the cranks went backwards. <laughs> exactly. But you didn't feel the bars go down. I didn't, no. So now I got you up to level 10. You're producing 142 watts. That's 72. Now here's 70. Yeah, see, now I'm like, now I'm kind of, I feel my body start to way to have push. to work harder yeah dang it little changes matter and i get you here two degrees forward uh-huh it just feels like i just heard i just heard it kick up yeah yeah but you didn't change anything nope all i did was move your cockpit forward over the pedals wow. two degrees but i heard the rpms kick up and now i'm starting to understand why the race bikes look the way they do right and then here's 74. I don't feel as big a difference going like 72, 73, 74. As you did 70 to 72. Yeah. When you went from this position of 70, yeah. I could see your torso dip in a little bit to try to really muster that right. muster can, that work. I can feel that, that. When I moved you here, things freed up a bit. Oh, it's wild. I, yeah, I'd say I'm liking this one so far. Now, I'm reluctant to ask you how this compares to my current We're fit. getting there. So there's your bike. No way. This is my current fit? On that? Yeah. What? This, this is my current fit on the Outback. I could barely turn the pedals. <laughs> Amazing, huh? That is wild. I'm feeling like at the same RPM, same power. You're exerting a lot more, pre a lot more it's effort. It's just taking me so much to... And then you just switched it. <laughs> it's just like my legs are turning over easier. Right? They're just like falling down instead of me having to push down. Right. Why? Why is that? The kinesiology, the morphology, whatever fancy word you want to put on it. Yeah. How your body is put together likes this better than where you were. And that's one of the benefits of the dynamic is because if you stick to like a prescribed set of angles, you, who knows? it might not work for your body. And, and I've said this a lot. It's like when I used to do traditional fit, I felt really weird about taking people's money for it. Because I knew in my heart that you could walk out of here, go down to the next traditional fit guy yeah. who had the angles that he liked, and he would say, oh, no, that Steve guy's messed up. This is where you need to be. And it's kind of a throw of the dart. Who hit where you like to make power? Right. But this way you can just test them all in one shot. Right. And, and this, nobody can get into your head. No one can get into your body. No one can tell you how you feel. Huh. Well, I'm liking this setting. Yeah, I think you're somewhere between 72 and 73. Oh, baby. This is like going to the eye doctor. Doing yes, AB it is. Test while and you hate training. it because there's those two lenses that you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> let me blink, let me yawn, let me rub my eye, because I'm like confused. Yeah. And the doctor says, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> Just pick one. You're right there. Yeah. Is that kind of where I'm at now? Yeah. And then, then I'm going to go with 72. Yeah, and this feels pretty good. I mean, the, the biggest difference is when you cut back to the current. No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't threaten me. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, do it. When okay. we go back to the, the Richie as I brought it in. Okay. I can't believe that. It just feels like there's suddenly more resistance in the pedals. <laughs> you got, take me back to 17, or 72. <laughs> I 
Oh, dude. That is wild. Did you say I can officially start spinning down? Yeah, you're, you're done. <laughs> okay. Whew. Oh, baby. That was, a, that was a workout. So there you have it, a dynamic bike fit by uh, the Guru equipment. Much harder process than I was expecting. I was basically pedaling under load for like, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. Um, Steve's making some adjustments to my bike now. Next thing I need to do is just get out on the road, try out the new fit, and I'll report back. Hey, how's it going, everybody? So it's been a few weeks since the bike fit. I've had several rides on it, and it's way better. I have to say, the fit is better. I'm comfortable for longer. I was reserving judgment until today, which is the day of Mammoth Tough, several weeks from when I did the uh, bike fit. But uh, we're up here in Mammoth Lakes, and I am 50 miles into a 70 mile ride. And um, usually, in fact, every time, at mile 40, mile 50, my neck, uh, my upper shoulders, um, mid back area just get really, really tight and fatigued. So that's kind of the uh, improvement that I was really hoping the fit would make. And it's definitely helped. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely tired. I definitely wish this ride was over right now, but I'm not having any sharp pains like I usually do around my neck and upper shoulders. Of course, my legs are tired. We're up at like 8,000 feet, so my lungs are burning. Everything hurts, but nothing hurts acutely. <laughs> put it that way as far as power output I can't tell you know whether I'm putting out more or less power I think it's kind of like what Steve was saying the bike fits not gonna like magically unlock more power I think that's kind of a misconception that I had going in if anything it'll allow you to put out the same amount of power you have been putting out for longer and um, you know I'm tired this has been a long day so far but I do feel like that any time I need that extra reserve of power just to get up some, you know, steep, loose, rocky climb, I've always got it on tap, which is a good feeling to have, uh, to be honest. So anyways, I do realize I'm rambling. I'm 50 miles in out here in the Eastern Sierras. There's no one around me, by the way. On these big rides, I always find myself between groups. Um, I don't believe I'm dead last, although that's a possibility. But anyways, just figured this would be a good time to wrap up the uh, fit video. I am very pleased. I brought the handlebars back 10 millimeters, moved the seat back about 15 millimeters, dropped the seat just slightly, and actually dropped the handlebars. And that was the biggest surprise to me because I would imagine the lower the handlebars, the more I'm gonna have to crane my neck to look forward, and I would expect to have more neck pain but it's been totally the opposite so um, go figure pretty pleased if you're in the area definitely stop by the cyclery it's in la mirada california go say hi to steve and if you're looking for a bike fit to you know improve your comfort on the bike maybe improve your endurance definitely worth it in my opinion all right that's gonna wrap it up for this one thanks again for watching thanks for subscribing to the channel if you haven't already <laughs> we'll see you next time ah, i mean look at this though I'm freaking tired, but just look at this. You seeing this? All right, sorry for yelling.